Hello and welcome to Netlink Studio. Alright, so this is the software that you'll be learning today, Netlink Studio. There are four main areas of Netlink Studio that you'll be working in. There's the workspace over here on the left. There is the main window here where our code is. Then there's the output bar that's here. And then there's the status bar, which is down here that shows us our connection to the Netlinks master. Alright, so we're going to learn about all the different areas and what they do, starting with the workspace bar. In the workspace bar, there's actually four different tabs. The first tab is actually called workspace. So there's the workspace tab on the workspace bar. And that's where you can actually see all the files in your workspace. Now, if you remember, a workspace is essentially a single file that contains references to all the other files that you'll be using in your system. And so this is where you actually can see all the files that are contained in that workspace. In this particular workspace, we have two. We have the program file that's actually our AXS file, our actual code file. And then we have this file that's our IR file. And then the next tab we have is our online tree. This is where all the devices that we have in our system appear. Now, we don't have a master or anything plugged in or connected right now. But if I had a master, you would see a master or keypads or all different kinds of devices potentially show up here. Any devices you have in your system is going to appear in your device tree. Next, we have our IR data tab. This actually shows all of the different functions and the associated channel number. So right now we have our one IR file selected. If you don't see anything, you can click on it to see, and it'll show you this, which this is actually the channel, the IR channel, and then the function associated with that. So we can see channel one is play, two is stop, three is pause. These are associated with the standard IR channel numbering system that's established in Snappy. In our main window, this is where our code files will open. Just got a basic empty project right now, but this is where all of your code is, and this is where you go to edit your actual code. And here's the output bar. Normally it'll be empty until you attempt to compile something or transfer files over to your master. The output bar will let you know if that file transfer or if that compiling building of the system, if there are any errors, you'll see the output good or bad here in the output bar. Then down here is the status bar. This is where you can actually see if you have a connection. Right now, this isn't green, so this means we don't have a master. If I had a master in my system, this bar down here would be green. And we're going to learn how to connect to a master, and we'll see that change later on. So essentially, those are the four main areas of the screen, and that is Netlink Studio at a glance.